Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And here we are again, we are going to continue from where we left off in the last episode. So in the last episode, we were able to set up our server, install Jim, and print out welcome to Finsa API. So let me show you where we at. So in the last episode, we were able to show this, meaning that we can now interact with our API. So in today's episode, based on the fact that we are going to have our auth API, such that we can create an account into Finsa and log in into Finsa, so we want to set up the auth API. So again, we are going to be following the structure we've used in our last section, the FinGrid backend. So I'll come back to the API folder. I'm going to create a new file here and I'll call it auth.group. And for auth.go, again, we are going to make this a package API. Again, we are going to create a type for auth. It's going to be a struct. And here, this is going to take in the server. It's going to reference it. Like that. Then we want to associate ourselves with the server router. Okay. This way, just like we have with um, Express from Node from Node.js, where you can have a group of router where you associate um, routes to a specific group. That's the same thing we want to do here. The only difference is that instead of defining your group somewhere and importing it to register, the way this works, it's quite different. So that's why we have the auth struct, which is going to serve as the order where we can define other functions. So here we want to have the a into auth and we want to define a router. So this is going to be the router group for every route associated with the auth. So the router is going to take in the server, which is going to be a reference. And here we can define the server itself. So a dot server equals to the server we just obtained. Now we can define our server group, which is going to be this. So aut. So now we have, so instead of calling this aut, I'll call this server group. So we have server.router.group into aut. Now we can define all other routes associated with it. So here we're going to have server group dot post login. We don't have a login function yet. We are going to create that. Then also we're going to have register. We don't have one as well. We're going to create that. So now we can come back to our server and register this group. So to do that, we can just access the auth structs, then we'll register the router. And that's what we just did here. So what that means now is all these paths are now available within our server itself. So once the server starts up, we should have that information. I can save this, come back to auth and define these functions. So here I can create a function, which is going to reference our auth structs. And from the auth trot, we have access to the database from the server. We have access to the config and so on. So for now, I'm just going to have this as message login. So I can import this from net and I can import it from chain. And yeah, we're good on that. Then also I can have the register section do this. And this is technically it for the, the auth API. So let's test this out. Let's run our server. It's still running and doesn't look like anything is happening as an issue. However, if you take a look at here, we have three registered endpoints now. We have the auth login, we have the auth register. So to test this out, let's open up Postman. All right, so here I am on Postman. I've gone ahead to set up the connection for FISA and also defined an environment. And if you care to know, here is where you set up your connections. And according to the latest Postman, you need to be logged in to be able to do this. So I'm not in and that's why I'm able to do this. So I have the FISA connection. Within the connection, I created a folder to hold the auth contents. And then I added a request to define the login request. And that's all I did, tested the login and I got this. So this is kind of what we set up on the backend anyway, so that's good. And if you care to know what's within the environment, here we have it, Pesa. And we define the hosts, the local host as the hosts. Then on the login request itself, I just specify the hosts. You have to specify your environment to be able to do that. So we have the login here. So let's create the registration as well. And for this, we can just duplicate this. 
So this will be the register. So this becomes register and we can save as well. So we test this. So the same thing we have register. Um, that'll be all for today's episode. We've been able to kind of set up the auth API and it's more like a modular form, which means everything has its own function. They are not intertwined to each other. That's good. So in the next episode, we are going to continue with the auth API. At the moment, we can't really do much. We can only show that we are accessing the login or the register endpoints. We can't really login or register yet, which is what we need to do. So yeah, see you in the next episode as we explore that. Bye for now.